the beacher chases next time we're over the Grand National course this time. We've got a slightly squashed video for some reason. I've got an OI, three miles and two furlongs, 0 to 1, 16, dawn of the new age for Joshua Sullivan at the top. Banks of the Nile, Leon Van Rensburg, Better Bob Irish, David Robertson, Cape of Pears, Darren Thompson, Square DJ, David Robertson, Bryce Norton, Darren Thompson, Viking King, John Morgan, Runner on Empty, Craig Allen, Crimson Flowers, John Morgan, Weeby Clarity, for Martin Leadham, subcontract Craig Beckwith and Boomerang, a man, Graham Clutterbuck. And at the bottom one's Alex Cherries. Uh, that one's called Rampant Liner. They're away and racing down to the first and they're already safely over it. I don't know whether the, whether the video that you're seeing is the same as mine, but it's a little bit squashed and a little bit out of, um, out of context. But as we get to number two, they're all safely over it. Hopefully Graham will get it fixed and it won't appear anything weird to you. But at the moment, the horses are a little bit squashed but it's fucking seen in the lead from Weeby Clarity in second as they get to the third which they're all safely to the other side of and John Morgan's Viking scene is going to set the pace it would seem with a clear lead or about five lengths to Cape of Pears on the inside in second and subcontract is now coming through to join that one, then comes We Be Clarity, and then Dawn of the New Age, Crimson Flower, a stable companion of the leader, is next with on the inside square DJ. But it's Viking Scene who shows the way as they make their way down towards the home straight. They'll take the two fences that are the final two fences in the Grand National, then they'll take the water jump. Well, no, then they'll take the chair, then they'll take the water jump, and then they'll go off on a full complete circuit of the Grand National Course, but it's Viking Scene is in the lead at the moment by about four or five lengths to Subcontract in second and Cape of Pears is third, then Weeby Clarity is fourth, and then Dawn of the New Age and Crimson Flowers is next as they get to the one that'll be the last on the next circuit. And they now make this long run towards the biggest fence on the course, the Cheer. Doesn't actually have as many fallers as you'd expect, but as they get down to it, the leaders over it nicely, and the rest of them have all given it plenty of air, and they've all got over it okay. So it's Viking scene in the lead, then racing down there towards the winning post for the first time, and the water jump, and over that one they go. And it's Viking scene and subcontract that are leading the way. Viking scene clear by three as they swing left-handed now, then make their way down towards the fence that'll be the first in the Grand National in a few weeks time with Subcontract three lengths down in second then Cape of Pears is two lengths back in third then comes Weeby Clarity and Dawn of the New Age with a gap or other two lengths then to Banks of the Nile and Rampant Lion and Runner on Empty closest to us right over on the far rail is Square DJ Crimson Flowers is in that little group as well so too's Bryce Norton and then the back two Boomerang Man and finally Better Bob Irish so making their way down towards this then, this is the first in the Grand National, they're all safely over that one, all jumped it nicely. And Viking Scene is the leader still, been in the lead all the way so far, leads by four. Oh, he's gone this time, there's two gone, the first two have both fallen, Viking Scene and Subcontract. Whether Subcontract was put off by the fall of Viking Scene, I don't know, but the two of them, first and second, depart the race at the second. Now they get to this big ditch and over that one, Weeby Clarity was a bit slow, Better Bob Irish has dropped right out of the back, I don't know where that one's gone. Uh, Boomerang and Man is getting a little bit tailed off as well, but it's Dawn of the New Age and as they get to the 11th over that one, there's another fall on there, it's Bryce Norton that's gone this time, so plenty of casualties so far in this one, as they come down towards the next, and it's, and Better Bob Orange has been pulled up as well, so that's four out already then, as they get over that one. And now make their way down towards the next fence in this one. Door of the New Age from Cape of Pears. Rampant liners move through into third. Then comes Weeby Clarity. As they get down to Beaches Brook. And they're all safely over Beaches with Cape of Pears now the leader from Dawn of the New Age in second. Runner on empty closest to us is third. Rampant line on the inside of that one. On the inside of that one then is Crimson Flowers as they get over the Fornhaven fence. And there's a fauna again there. Runner on empty's gone. So the smallest fence on the track claims a runner as well then and it's carnage in this one as they come down towards the canal turn then we've already lost five of them. And over that one they're all safely over that with 
The one tailing off of the back, Boomerang and Marne, but it's Cape of Pears in the lead. From Crimson Flowers, Dawn of the New Age, Square DJ, Banks of Anarm, and we be Clarity, Rampart Line as they get over the next. And then all safely over that one. With Dawn of the New Age in the lead. Just on the inside as they get over the next. A bit of a slow jump on the inside there by Cape of Pears. But they're all pretty closely grouped. Boomerang Aman is getting closer at the back. Crimson Flowers has just about hit the front from Square DJ. As they get over that, that's the final ditch. Over that one they go. Then they've got just three more fences to take now then. And it's Crimson Flowers on the inside of Square DJ. Then comes Dawn of the New Age. Then Cape of Pears. Then Rampant Line. Then Weeby Clarity trying to get the ring. And as they get over the third from home, they've got two more to take. Then now they're going to swing round to Towards the straight where they'll take those two final fences and then the big long run and a wee bee clarity has come through to take it up from in second place square dj then comes cape of pears rampant line is back in fourth then banks and are trying to run on crimson flowers is after that one and then comes dawn of the new age switching to the outside boomerang a man is now trying to get back into it as well they've still got four furlongs to go two fences to take it's wee bee clarity in the lead from square dj in second rampant line looks a big danger on the outside in third and he's now coming through to challenge for the lead with Square DJ Weeby Clarity looks beaten Banks of the Nile looks to be going well Crimson Flowers is trying to run on again over the second last they go and it's Rampant Lion who lands in the lead Rampant Lion from Square DJ in second Banks of the Nile is back in third Crimson Flowers is running on they're coming out towards the final fence then now and Rampant Lion has gone too clear Rampant Lion from Square DJ over the final fence Rampant Lion gets over it well now the big danger looks to be Crimson Flowers who's eating up the ground up the centre of the track it's Rampant Lion on this big long run in. Rampant line two lengths clear but Crimson Flowers is closing. Rampant line's getting inside. Crimson Flowers is getting closer. They're at the elbow. It's Rampant line and Crimson Flowers. Rampant line is finding reserves from somewhere. Crimson Flowers can't close. It's Rampant line and Crimson Flowers. Rampant line by half a length. Crimson Flowers one last lunge and they flash past the post together and I think Rampant line may just have held on from Crimson Flowers. A really exciting race and I think Rampant Line just, the line came just in time I think, and Crimson Flowers wearing him down, Rampant Line takes it for, well it's Alex Cherry although his name's not there, Crimson Flowers was the second for uh, John Morgan, Square DJ was third, I think that was David Robertson, Banks of the Nile I think was Leon Van Rensburg and Boomerang around in fifth was um, Graham Clutterbuck. So, rather strange race there, loads of fallers, a rather squashed up video, and the trainer's names disappeared from the final list.